I'm Laura Windmill and I'm a potter. Uh, I started when I was 14 at a hobby ceramics group in Briar Hill. It was the Diamond Valley Arts Centre and they ran hobby pottery classes and I told my mother I'd like to do that and she told me I had to stick at it for at least three terms and you know all these years later I'm still doing it. I have been really fortunate in my ceramics journey. I actually have volunteered overseas in Vanuatu, uh, helping an expatriate there set up a school for disadvantaged youth who he wanted them to have a skill that they could make some money out of and I did a um, expo there and then went back 12 months later and did a week teaching them some of my skills. Uh, so I've made great friends through my ceramic journey. I'm inspired by the nat natural um, environment, particularly deserts. Central Australia has inspired me. Uh, volcanoes, glaciers, uh, rock formations. So I try to put a little bit of that element in my work. I use a lot of natural materials in my firings. Uh, seaweed, banana skins, um, leaf matter, uh, chemical reactions, rock salt, um, copper carbonate and that gives all these different effects and every pot I make is truly different because it's all sort of planned randomness. I just really like the feeling of clay. Um, I use low-fired porcelain and it's very soft on your hands it's very pottery is a very tactile discipline um, sometimes I might just get a piece of clay and sit there and play with it simply because it feels nice to touch although I've done other art disciplines like painting and printmaking and that clay is the passion. I've been in open studios since it first started in the Yarra Valley and I think the best thing out of the open studios is welcoming people into my studio and they see how somebody actually works. They don't just see the finished product, they see the skill that's involved, the time that's involved and they can really appreciate what, what you're doing. Um, as a result of open studios I've met a lot of different people, made some great friends a lot of networking, that sort of thing, and it's an opportunity to showcase your work to people that may not ever come across it.